Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy 592. Coming at you today with another video. Um, today we got Gegar Musashi versus Gegar Musashi versus Chael Sonnen. Um, You know, I'm obviously Gegar. This guy, this is a earlier matchup too, like from the first day I started playing. So, you know, people wasn't really that good, and neither really was I. But, yeah, you know, my whole game plan in this fight is, and game plans actually work in this game. But my whole game plan in this fight was keep it standing, outstrike him, get the knockout, or TKO. That was all I was thinking. But um, today I want to talk to you about a few things, a few, few things. Um, yeah, so lack of videos. Because I'm trying to enjoy life and I'm trying to, you know, I'm taking things at a day at a time. Whenever I'm free and I'm in the mood, I'll post a video. You know, I'm starting to take YouTube and understand YouTube as just, hey, my little side thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll do it on the side. Nothing major, nothing serious. I'm still going to be posting videos. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you know, whenever I just get in the mood to post a video, I'm going to post a video. So if I go, like, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days without posting the videos because I'm probably doing something in the real world. Like, I'm st before when I first started, you know, I'm not even nowhere really, but I was focusing a lot on it, like, s losing sleep and stuff. But now, I'm, you know, I'm getting my shit back together. So that's just briefly that. Sorry for the lack of videos if you've been waiting. You know, I still got y'all. I still love y'all. So, um, for the few that do watch my video, f videos. But thanks to y'all, the few that do watch my videos, that means a lot. And that shows y'all still, you know, interested in the bullshit I put up. <laughs> um, also, this weekend, great weekend for MMA fans. I swear. You got World Series of Fighting Saturday early daytime and then you got Mashita Wyman um late at night that Saturday and then you got um BJ Penn versus Frankie Edgar three Sunday so it's a great weekend for MMA fans. I'm I'm excited. I'm hype. I'm pumped. Let's go. John Fitch is fighting on World Series of Fighting also. So is Melvin Gillard. So we got ourselves a good night of you know, a good weekend of fights. But um going to talk to the fight talk about the fights i'm just you know think i should touch up on these videos on this video um first of all i'm telling you now i'm not going to do predictions on the fights that's not happening <laughs> but right here he swing he um gets the reversal to full mount i wasn't really worried because obvious you know watching his ground game he he doesn't know the ground game like at that point when i seen he couldn't do anything on the ground i realized that i outclass him in every area right there he gets a big counter though but i sway on him real quick hit, hit a jab and that's what i've been doing like if i parry hit here because my head is a little red he's trying to you know run in rush in and get some shots but um i've learned when i parry jabs do perfect elbow into a head kick though did you see that and then a face kick he's wobbled another one but the round ends i wish that would have knocked him out but can't do nothing about it but um yeah, I learned a lot of times when I parry a strike now, I go for a jab or a body shot. Simply because the power shots, it still takes more time to load up and the person can recover from the parry to parry your strike. And then it'll be a bigger counter. So I just learned to do a quick jab, you know, take my little damage and leave. Here is what a lot of people do online, this stupid sidestepping bullshit. Like, that is so whack. Like, look at him. He's not even doing nothing. And I'm trying to hit him, but it's like right there, counter elbow. But it's like, it, it's weird. Like, I don't understand it. I don't know why people do that stupidness, and it's just annoying. A lot of people I face do it. But right there, I started catching on, and it just started kicking to the side. He, he's, you know, dashes to. Right there, hit a big elbow, dodge again, big elbow, <laughs> dodge again, big elbow, because he's doing the same one, two, one, two. So I'm like, you know, I know how to reverse that right there. I chipped him with a knee. Pay attention to that. I chipped him with the knee. So he's starting to recover his um his health back. I'm like, let me be a little bit more aggressive. Stop takedowns. Don't get taken down, please. And I keep pushing him away because he's going for big load. You know, he's throwing big takedowns. And I hit a big hook. And I try to hit a counter jumping knee. But I waited. I waited. 
pushing him aside like a boss and then a jumping knee. Oh, God. Did you see that? The Armenian assassin. What? The dream catcher. K.R. Musashi, baby. If you enjoyed, leave a like. And I'm out. Peace.